So breaking this morning, a pilot is in the hospital after he crash landed a plane on top of a warehouse late last night. The plane was headed to Hobby Airport, but crashed a few miles from it. Channel 2's Jake Reiner is live at that warehouse off the Gulf Freeway in Ernestine. And Jake, how's that pilot doing? Good morning, Rachel. He's doing OK, thankfully. We know that he's 54 years old and he was the only one on board this plane. I'm going to step out of the way so you can see the plane is still on top of this Macy's uh, warehouse distribution building. And here's what we know so far. And I was watching it and I was watching the struggle. Firefighters say the plane went off the radar just before 11 o'clock. It crashed into this Macy's distribution building, clipped the side of it, and went on top. We heard like a big bang, and we caught it. We tried to come and look for it, and we didn't see it. So we, we kept trying to look for it, and we went home, and we saw all the firefighters and everyone, and we came to check, and we finally saw it was on top of the building. Firefighters say they rescued the pilot. He was alert and transported to the hospital is expected to be okay. Firefighters, the NTSB, and the FAA all are contributing in this investigation to find out what happened to this plane and why it crashed. The way we were really able to find it is that when an airplane crash uh, has a situation, they alert, they alert like a, a, a beacon, an emergency beacon, and uh, we had our FOX unit in the air and also other planes flying across going to Hobby were also picking up that same alert. It's a good thing they were able to find this plane on top of this building. We could only see it if we took, you know, a couple of a hundred yards back to be able to see it on top of the building from the ground level. And thankfully as well, there was no fuel leak, no fire. The damage was confined to this building and that plane crash. Again, the pilot is expected to be okay. Reporting live in Southeast Houston, Jake Reiner, KPRC, Channel 2 News.